Hey what's good, I'm Sadia and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can create a countdown timer in Final Cut Pro without any plugins, so let's do this. It's very straightforward. So the first thing you want to do is set up your project. Once you've done that, go into the generators here and you want to go to solid and let's do custom, drag that down into your timeline and then change the background color to whatever you want. So for now, just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just gonna go with orange. And then let's make this one minute, one minute long. So go to the, move the playhead to a minute long so you know exactly where to go. And then literally just drag the background generator there so it's a minute long. And then what you wanna do is again, under generators here, you wanna to go to elements and this time you wanna you want to choose time code. So simply drag that into your timeline and again, you want it to be a minute long. Um, obviously, if you're doing a 30 second countdown, for example, then you may only wanna do 30 seconds and again, just move your playhead to the 30 second mark and just make it as long as 30 seconds like that. But I'm gonna do a minute, so drag these both out so they're a minute long like that. And then you can see the time code here. We don't actually want all of that, so let's edit it. So select the time code, go into your inspector. If you don't have it open, click the icon here to open it up. And then in the label section, you can have a label if you want. I don't want one for this, so let's just delete it. And then we don't want the black background color either. So just expand the color property here. And then with the opacity, just lower it down to zero. And as you can see, the background has been removed. Now what you want to do is go into the video inspector here and you want to crop it. So we don't want the zero zeros on the end of either side. We only want, so this is hours, minutes and seconds. We don't actually want the hours. So let's crop that. So all you have to do is under the crop property here, just drag the left like that. Just drag the slider until it's disappeared just like that. And then we'll do the same for the right. So just drag it out so that those are removed. And if we play that back, perfect. So that crop is exactly what we want. So here you can obviously change, uh, if you go back here, you can change the front font. So I'm gonna change it to Helvetica and I'm gonna make it bold as well. And as you can see, the crop has now kind of been ruined. So the best thing to do is set your font first. So I'm gonna make it, let's just say 55 and then I'm going to go back into the video inspector and actually if we look at the crop it's actually fine you may need to adjust it um, when you change the font but there we go so now we've got a timer great so now the next thing to do is add your shape so again in the under generators under elements select shapes drag that into your timeline and just drag it out so it's a minute long just like the others um, and by the way if you don't if yours doesn't automatically stop where you see that sort of uh, yellow line you might have your snapping off so remember to turn it on here so if I don't have it on you can see it doesn't kind of guide me but when you have snapping on so I'm just going to turn it on now you can see that it guides me so it kind of tells me where the others are aligned um, if this one was out here for example and I went around over it, it kind of tells you so it kind of gives you that guide so definitely have snapping on I would personally never turn it off it's so so useful okay so now we've got a shape we don't actually want this red outline so select the shape and go into the generator inspector here and then we want to remove the fill so simply select the checkbox and the fill has gone now change the outline color to whatever you want for now for this example I'm just going to go with white so let's, you can choose the different colors here. You can select the different options. Um, I'm just gonna go with white here. And obviously you can change the outline width as you want as well. You can make it as thick as you want. For, the, for this one, we wanna keep it as the default. So just leave it on 30. And with the drop shadow, we don't actually want that. So I'm just gonna lower the opacity down to zero. Okay, there we go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna move the time code so that it actually sits in the middle. What you can do is have the horizon on. So go to view, show horizon, and then you get the vertical and horizontal yellow lines that kind of guides you. And yeah, that's about centered. And of course you can change the size of the shape as well. So go into the video inspector, and of course you can you know make it as big or small as you want so i'm just going to leave it like that for now so i'm quite happy with that and now the next thing you want to do is duplicate this shape so what you want to do is simply select the shape and just 
paste it on top so now you have two but this time what you want to do is go to the generator inspector here and you want to change the outline so it's bigger so at the moment it's 30 which is the default let's change it to say 45 maybe that's too big let's go with 40 um, and of course you can change the color as well so you know the outline color could be green you could be you know brown blue purple of course you can choose the colors here as well so you know you can or if you've got any pre presets like you know if there are any default saved ones you can use those but for this example i'm gonna do let's go with yeah let's go with green in fact no let's go with black okay so now if we just play that now you're probably thinking okay it's not doing anything so this is where this, this is pretty much the final step so what you want to do now you've got your shape you've set your width now you want to add the transition to it to give it the sort of you know the clock transition so open up your transitions here and you want to look for clock so you can go down to wipes and then select clock here or you can simply search clock in the search tool and literally just drag the clock onto your shape like that we don't want the transition on the end so delete that but what we do want is if we watch this back so obviously that transition was very quick it was literally only a second we don't want that so what you want to do is click on your transition and if we just make the timeline bigger so i'm hitting command plus and what you want to do is move your cursor to the end of the transition and you'll see these left and arrow appear so what you want to do is simply drag that all the way to the end so it covers the entire one minute timeline like so if i just hover over the timeline you can see the clock transition which is exactly what we want however you can see it's kind of blurry so if you select the transition open up expand the edge treatment here and then you want to change the border to one so it's more of a solid and now if we play it back you can see the timer perfect so now the last the final final step now is actually to reverse the time so this isn't counting down this is counting up to a minute but we want it in reverse so normally you could select a clip and go here and then choose reverse clip but with the time code it doesn't let you do that but there is a workaround all you need to do is convert this to a compound clip so if i right click and hit new compound clip let's just call it countdown and now that's been converted to a compound clip i can go here and do reverse clip and now you can see it's going back from one minute down to zero so as you can see it's counting down all the way to zero which is exactly what we want perfect so that's pretty much done and now you're probably wondering well how do i get this onto a video clip so what you actually want to do is ideally you probably don't want the orange background you probably want it to be transparent because you want to overlay it on another video. So to do that, what you want to do is change the orange here to green. Probably should have started with that, but hey. So there's your green background. And then what you want to do is turn this into a compound clip. So select all of your layers. So you can do Command A or just sort of drag them all like that. And then you want to right click and click New Compound Clip. So I'm going to call this Countdown Timer Clip. It's fine. Let's just stick with Countdown Timer. Hit OK and you'll see that it has all turned into one clip. Okay, great. So now let me show you how to use this. So I've got some footage from pexels.com so some free footage so let's add this one for example so add this to your timeline and you want to move the countdown timer to be above the video so if i disable that this is the video clip as you can see a guy's working out so to get rid of the green background uh this is how you would work with any green screen footage go into your effects browser and you want to search for kia and what you'll see is green screen kia and it's very simple all you do is literally drag it over your countdown timer and the green has disappeared and now if we play that back i'm going to remove the horizon as you can see the countdown timer is going down and you can see the black is sort of moving uh, this clip here i got it's only what 14 seconds long so i'm just going to duplicate it a few times to get to a whole minute like so just to show you and then if i skim through you can see the timer move like so and of course with your countdown timer you can move it to where you want so if you use the click select the countdown timer compound clip go to transform and you can move it wherever you want maybe you want it here maybe you want it smaller maybe you even want the black to be blue you know to sort of match the guy's clothes so to do that 
go to your countdown timer in fact double click the compound clip and you want to select the shape on top because we've got the transition at 100% of it you can't actually select or edit it so what you want to do is decrease the transition time just for just for a second click on your actual shape and here with the outline color you can now change it to let's go to oops let's go here and go to like a blue like that and then come out of the compound clip and there you go now you've got the blue timer so if i just play that back skim through and there you go oh actually i forgot to increase the timer so the shape needs to go back to 100 percent. and now if we play it back you should see it go from one minute all the way down to three two one done nice and easy so again yeah you can change the color even after you've made the compound clip which is obviously ideal you can change the the font size whatever you want and it's as easy as that you can also move around the timer so you can have it there have it in the bottom corner maybe you want it to be around his face for whatever reason maybe you want to make it bigger like so and then it will look like this so I've got another clip here so if we just drag that in I'll just remove this guy duplicate this one because again it's not long enough and then if you watch that back and there you go nice and easy but what you can see here is you can start kind of see this horizontal line from the green screen footage so the easiest thing to do is just crop it so select the countdown timer hit the crop and we can just crop it out like so and there we go so if you want to use the countdown timer for multiple videos all you need to do is export the compound clip or simply just copy and paste it between project and project that was nice and easy wasn't it i hope you found this video tutorial useful be sure to hit the like button and drop a comment below as well and don't forget to subscribe to see more from me as always thank you for watching peace